Hello, everyone, and welcome to Miniature Monday. This is Nancy. And let's say hi to everyone that's been chatting here, that left and right here. We got a, a lot of people talking. We got a Chase, we got Herb, we got Liz, we got Robin. Let's see who else. Uh, Steve. Uh, let's see. That's about it for now. So m once you come in, just say hello. And if you're watching this on the hit on the replay, say hashtag replay. <laughs> Everybody's guessing who where Robin got her, who got um buttons. Hey, ha has 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 Doug um um turned a, a bowl of buttons in in some resin? That'd be interesting. Um, has anybody had uh, trouble, um, posting on Instagram lately? I've been trying to get, um, some reels up and it gives me errors all the time. And not only that, but when I open Instagram, it gives me a black screen. I have uninstalled and reinstalled it. I have signed in and signed out. I have cleared the cache. Um, so I... I don't understand. Then after a while, it does come up, but when I start to to, to load a reel, it tells me could not do it. So I don't know. I haven't been able to post a reel in a in a few days. Hi, Kathy. So um, I posted yes. Uh, I, I I can't can't on Instagram, but on Facebook I did p post that I added some new items to my um, website. I got some paracord bracelets, and I'll be making some more because these are the ones that that I already had made. So I'll be making some more and adding them later. So that, look for that in the in the coming weeks. I've added some of these um, autism awareness pins. We got ah, this uh, Superman, Superman one. They're, they're pins, and um, I have different different styles on the website. Thank you. Hello, Aisha. Sorry about that, um, Kathy. I, this is the first time I see your name. I, I don't know if it, was, it got blocked or something, but but hello now. Maribel, hello. And I'm going to be posting these guys later this week. We got a pair, two pairs of earrings. They're, 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 they're mini Zoom Zooms. Where's the other one? Well, I'll show you one because I can't. The other one, I think that they ran off. But they're they're not they're not um a pair. Hello, Christine. Awesome, thank you. Ah, sorry. They're not a matching pair, but I don't always like need, need matching pairs. But we got Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. And the other one is um, Eeyore and Tigger, if I can find them. But I'll be posting these on the website soon. So check that out. Oh, Zim Zim. So right there at the bottom, it says littletreasuresbynancy.com. That's where my page is. Sponsored by Harnell Media. And like I said, I'll be posting more stuff. As I make it, I'm getting some more supplies to make some more things, and it's gonna be fun. See anybody else that came in? Let's see. Uh, I made it, it. Okay. So hello everybody. Um, I this is where I haven't worked on Bob Ross today, but this is about the bottom half of Bob Ross with his little belt and pants. So I'll be working on his the rest of him. What I've been working on is finishing 
my Noah's Ark. I added this piece here. It, it, it looked um. I I measure it uh, uh, compared to the size was so one, one to twelve, so one foot equals one inch. So that that's that's how I measure. So if a if a refrigerator is three feet wide, it's three inches wide. So I I go by scale. So I added um this section here because I thought it, it looked like it was missing something. So I added that and um, I finished painting it. And that's all the railings I'm gonna do. And then we, we just need to fill it up with animals. Hi, Carmen, how you doing? Hugs. So today we're gonna be working in the miniature kitchen. Oh, I haven't showed you what I did. The cabinets that I started last week. Let's see, um, Jay, can you come and take Noah's Ark? Oh, God, this is heavy. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm strong. Careful, don't, careful with it. Okay. Where should I put it? Uh, just put it in, in front of the dresser like it did last time. So we're going to try to get this closer so you can see without knocking anything out. Because nothing. the only thing that's glued down is the, the refrigerator. Everything else is just sitting on top. Because I do want to redo the... Liz says hello, um, honey. Hello, Liz. Hello, Larry. Hi, John. Oh, I love I love making those bags. The, the, see, the, the, see this one here I made to match my my um my uh traveler's journal because I like um old trucks and VW vans, and that one has all my little notions inside. Steve says hi, Earl. Hey, Steve. Let me see if I can get you guys closer and get this light. So you... There we go. Kathy says hello. Carmen says hello. <laughs> so let, let's move the the stools to the side so you guys can I can get the the cabinets out get this out of the way okay the coke bottles came up where's the other one i'll put this one over here uh oh i'm missing one coke bottle that's the thing about tiny easy to lose things is there another bottle over here i don't see it Oh, oh, there it is. I mean, with the bottles, so I don't, I don't lose them. Hello, Herb, you're back. So we were working on the cabinets, right? I need to redo them again, but for now, this is what. Let's get these out of the way. Uh, out, because I don't like the. the I want to make um use a a better type of wood. But for now, this is this is this is what it's gonna look like. So I'm happy with the countertops. So the the this is that's that's sloppy work. I don't I don't like the the texture, the cutting. Um, this one here has got messed up because it, the hinge broke, so I just glued it on. So hi, Gina. And then this one, when I when I did it, the the hinges are not straight. So, but for now, closed up it, from far away, it looks fine. But the top here, I I painted it white, and then I did a splatter with the black, and then with some UV resin, I I added that um on top. So it looks like a nice old time. And then I added um the aluminum foil on the edge, like I did with the stove. So that's that's the the small one, and then I put this piece here. So when I put the put it next to the the. Hi Tracy. Did I miss Tracy? Hi, there you go. Hi Tracy. Thank you guys for catching everybody I can't catch. <laughs> so I added this piece right here. So when I put the the oop, there goes the lemonade. 
Don't don't cry over spilled lemonade, right? Where is the other one? Oops. This is the 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 pre-made sink that came with the kit that Annie gave me. So so when you put this one next to here, it had a gap. So I put that there. So when you put them next to each other, you don't see the gap. Like that. So I did that along as well with this side. Again, I have to do, redo this because I don't like the, the look of that. Plus this hinge, this is the second um, front I made because the one that last Monday broke, remember? And when I was working on this one, this one broke too. So this one's all glued in. This one does work. That's the only store that actually works that hasn't broken. <laughs> You'll take a root beer float. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. And then these, since I didn't like th what the way this was looking, I d hello, Dory. Thanks for coming. Thanks. For I'm glad you like them. <laughs> awesome. Since I I didn't like the lower cabinets, I wasn't gonna take my time making drawers like I've done in the in the past. So these are just drawer fronts glued on. So once I redo them, then and then again here I did the the UV resin on top. I think those look so cool. Let's see. What, I'm trying to see if I can get it to focus. There, no, focus, focus. I need it for. Let me see. Let's see if it focuses on my hand. Okay. Come on. I have a new camera coming, so hopefully the new camera focuses better. But there, there's that top, kind of top. Again, I did the, the lip on the, on the side here. So when you put it next to this guy, you don't see the, whatchamacallit. And for the backsplash, I'm not, I had, as you can tell, it's not glued down yet. I had these um, plastic, um, I don't know if you call them straws. But they came with some styrofoam balls to make like um <laughs> yes hey fabi hi lisa so if anybody has a a, a channel you can type in the word treasures and nightbot should be working today and drop your channel these are like plastic straws or sticks you see, I don't know. If it, it, there we go. You see? So what I did was cut it and glue it onto a piece of cardstock. I've, 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 been, I've had um, Little Treasures by Nancy since 2008. But I just started um, my website. I had an Etsy shop for since 2012. And on and off I did it. It's working. Good job, Nightbot. You get paid today. So what I did, I put it on start car stock. So if I didn't like it, and, and, and even this one here is not glued down. So you guys let me know what you think of that type of backsplash. So th let's put everything back in so you can see how it looks. Slide this in behind that one. Slide this one in. At least the sizes, came, the the dimensions came out right. And then the stove is here. And the the utensils, I taped it to the the wall to see if I liked it there. Um, so I'm gonna get a couple screws because it has little sc um, screw holes. So I'll screw that later. Cause I want to do a range hood as well, so I want to do that first. So that's what that's why nothing's really glued down. Cause who who knows what I want, what I what I want to do. So this backsplash might change after after we do the window today. Who knows? So that that goes there and that goes here. And that's what one of the the reels I've been trying to to load is is the kitchen. So you can see that the countertops in the this one doesn't hold on oops 
Okay, that's good. It just looks a little weird. Okay. I got my little teapot on my stove and the little cast iron plate. And I have the these guys. I'm not sure if I want to hang them. That's why they're they're out here. Hang them over here. Have like a cast iron wall. Thank you. So that's on there. Then I had this came in today. This a little picture with um, some glasses. So I put those on one of the trays that I made earlier. That's one of the first things I made. So that's up there. I got extra trays here. I still haven't done the chalkboard. I think it's going to be going right there. So um, I did a poll. I did a poll on my YouTube community tab. Let's see which picture. Um, um, Fabi, you have to just do treasures, nothing else after it. Just plain treasures. Oh, it did work. Okay. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. Everybody calls them different names. But it, it, it also worked when it says, um, please subscribe to my channel. That was new that I added. But let's go to my community tab to see which picture won. We got, ooh, we had 36 votes. The first picture was the daisies with the sunset. Ooh. Hold on, let me get it out. The daisies with the sunset. The second one was the, the tree in the desert, I guess, or the stones or rock. And then the last one was the the mountains with the hot air balloon. Yes, um, we got option one for 69%, option two, 19, and option three, 11. So we got option one is winning or one, because that's what I'm going to be using. Hi, Monique. So this, I won't throw away. I can put, use, it, use it in another project or something. So that goes to there. And we're going to put the window above the sink here. It's going to be a big window because, um, this, like I said, this is way, way, way tall. So I, I want to fill in. So we're going to make a big, giant window there, right there. So I, I already cut the frame out of quarter-inch square dowels. And then we're going to add some some of the mullions is that how you call it so we're going to slide this over here there we go so let's go to the side here i made the frame where the picture is going to be three by five and if if we um have time i will try to make some little bit little bit of curtains you know the ones that, that go on the top the what are those the top curtains called i know what they're called hmm hmm what are those the little ruffle curtains on, on the top of a, of a of a window what are they called again guys you guys remember oh, wait, oh thank you gina I was like, you can see the kitchen. But I forgot you can't see. Valence. They thank you, Ch um, Chase. Uh, valence. If we have chance, we'll do a valence. But I'm not sure what color though. I mean, I have to see if I have. I have um. What you call it? Um, sandpaper. We're going to be using the super glue wood glue from Dollar Tree. Like I said, um, quarter inch dowels square square dowels not just dowels okay and we're going to use this guy here to make sure that they're all nice and square you buy super glue or super glue wood glue there's two different things is, did I have it on top or inside? Let me double check the picture. 
Okay, like that on top. So we're going to do, do that here. Not too much. Wipe, wipe. Again, I'm using my this um, Dollar Tree square yeah, to make sure that they're square. So we're going to... So how was everybody's everybody's um weekend oh nightbot is working today look at that it's telling you guys to check out my website good job nightbot okay the, the big plastic bottle is about the same size as this but it has a little red tip the red red cap on it it says super glue wood glue. Hey, Larry. So we're going to move that one to the side and then do the other one. I'm still here too, Larry. <laughs> And I'm using the the coffee stirs that I used um, on the Noah's Ark um, railings to do the mullions. Just the, the same as I did with the window and the the library. Let me let me. Jay, can you grab the library real quick? Or. Can, I'm, I'm gonna show you why this this dries. I'm gonna show you the window on the on the library. When I'm when I'm ah, I moved that one too quick. Hold on. Let's do this again. It, it, let's do that. There we go. Press it down a little bit and just let it sit. Okay. Let me bring the camera up. Hi there again. <laughs> he's walking like he's holding some china. Well, it, in, in a sense, it is. There's tons of. Tons it, of it is tons some of china. <laughs> okay, you see that window there? That's what we're going to try to do with the kitchen window with some mullions. That one's a bigger window. So, we can go put that back. Be careful. You're eating lasagna. Are you going to send me some, Robin? I want some lasagna. Yeah, put the glue there. And then put the glue over here. And put this back in the corner. Ah, this one. Get over there. Stay. Okay. And put this one here. And this one over here. And that should make it square. Let me double check it with the grid on here. And that looks pretty much square. So we're going to let it sit for a second. Let's grab some the wooden stir sticks. Oh, you guys weren't even seeing what I was doing. I'm sorry. I added the, put the two pieces together. And what I did was, um, so this is square, but I wanted to make double check. So I put this on one of the grid marks on the cutting mat to make sure that everything was square all around. Okay? Okay. Let's get a little closer here. There we go. So... You did, um, Gina. Let, let, uh. 
So we're going to use these coffee stir things. I think I'm going to do just one down the middle like that. And then actually I may make it make it more because, you know, the scale wise. So I may do this too. So that makes it more or less 12 inch panes this way and then 12 inch panes this way. So we got one. That one's crooked. These these coffee stars you got. You see how bowed that one is? So you got to just put them flat on the table here, and you know, you know that this goes like this. That one that one's bowed. No. Is it bowed? No, it's not bowed. So you got to put that one there. I'm just waiting for the corners to dry. And one more, one more. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna do it like this. Once that section dries, because you want this to be nice and sturdy before adding all the other stuff. So let's put this away. Um, let me go, go to the Facebook group real quick and. That way everybody else can go to that page and check it out. Uh, member request. Okay, if, if, I'm sorry if you, if you request to join my group and you do not answer any of the questions, you would not be approved, okay? Just, just, just saying. Oh, that's nice. That diamond painting, Gina? That's pretty too. Did, have you finished your butterfly yet, Gina? That you started on, on Friday? Oh, you, you're you're you've been approved, Gina. It's somebody else that that just um that requested to join the group and didn't answer any, any of the questions. It's so simple, yes or no. I'm not asking you to to um give up, you know, government secrets. I think this guy is frame. <laughs> that was real hard, right, guys? So I'm going to use the grid here to line up these guys. So I'm going to, let's see which side looks the prettiest. Yeah, this. So I'm going to do it on this side. I'm using reused, I mean, <laughs> I don't throw anything away, so we're using that on the back. You see the hole? <laughs> so we, we do that in the back. So we're going to measure and cut, measure and cut. Pencil, pencil. Or no, it's not a pencil. My little, my little bag of goodies here. Where's my... I didn't put the pencil back in here? I have this pencil, but I don't think it has um any lead left. Okay, no problem, Gina. We can do that. There we go. That's no problem, Gina. Okay, so we're gonna line this up here, and we're gonna go from left to right, or right to left. It doesn't matter. And mark. Well, we're going to cut it. And then th there goes my lemonade again. You just don't want to stay up, do you, table? Okay, you're going to put the lemonade on the counter. Because the counter won't fall all the time. So put it back there. 
It sounds so cool because the, the countertop is that resin, UV resin. And when you put something metal, I mean glass or metal on it, it sounds like an actual countertop. So we're going to cut. Oh, I got it backwards. I can't, that's why I can't see it. Okay. And we're going to measure, what was it, four more? To the same size. You want you want to finish that on the the Friday live, or you want to do that on the Wednesday live, Gina? Either one works. One more. Just let me know. There we go. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna turn this sideways here because that way I can I can see the grid lines. I'm going to center this. Center, center. Because it's five inches on the outside, but not on the inside. So I need to see where to put the grid lines to make it even. Nightbot, good job. <laughs> Actually, let me do do get my there. Yeah. I just because the grid the grid doesn't have all these little itty bitty numbers on it, so we're gonna use my ruler here. So we got um, let's see, that's that's okay. Hold on a second. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to think out loud here to see which which is the best way for me to do this. I'm gonna go from the outside to outside. That way I know what exactly the center is. So that's two and a half on that side. And two and a half on this side, right? Then I'll take this, one, two, three, no, that's, that's four. Oh no, I'm gonna do this. So we're gonna, we're gonna just fudge it, okay, guys? Nancy's gonna fudge it. Um, let's do four and a half divided. Uh, let's, let's do that. Four and a half divided by what was it? Five sections. Calculator. Four point five divided by five. Nine inches. There we go. So every nine inches, we're going to make a mark. And nine inches is three quarters of an inch. So each quarter is three inches. If you're doing one to 12 scale, so three inches is three. Mm -hmm. Three inches is a quarter, six inches is a half, nine inches is three quarters, and then you got the foot, which is 12 inches. So if you want nine inches, it's three quarters. Let me see if. My calculations are correct. See if my calculations. No, it's not. So my 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 phone is not telling me the the right. Because if it's every nine inches, that's that. This one is so one two three four five. This one's bigger. Hmm. That's not working, guys. Let me do try this again. I should have done this beforehand, but I don't. But we'll we'll figure it out. So I have I had it. So I'm gonna do seven eighths. Let's do seven eighths and see where that takes us. I'm sure I'm sure everybody's you know everybody's like this is what you're supposed to be doing, but this is the way Nancy's mind works. I look at that. Seven A's worked. So I'm going to do that on this side too to so make sure that I have on this side too.
talking about tomatoes. I like tomatoes, but ever since uh, my diagnosis, one of the things I can't have is tomato. I do have pizza every now and then, but my husband orders it with light sauce. I'm the mini architect. Am I? Okay, now we got this glue down. I mean, measured out. We're going to start adding these guys. I had plastic sheets, clear plastic sheets, like um, overhead sheets that I bought at Salvation Army, a, a, I think it was a couple years ago. And in my moving around and cleaning, that box of plastic sheets decided to, to vamoosh. So I do not know where they are. So we're going to put this here. Put this here. So I, I usually would put a piece of plastic in between the picture and the and the frame, but um, at this time I do not have that. I do have I did print it on on glossy paper. I do have it on glossy paper, so that way it, it does look like the reflection of a window. There we go. Thank you, Chase. I thought it did, but it, it, it was looking weird. So I don't know. Unless I'm, I was measuring it wrong. So it was, it was still give it the, I was gonna say, the, the glare of a window effect behind there. Seventeen watching. Thank you, guys. Appreciate the support. There we go. I'm using the grid line here to, to make sure that they're straight. Plus, I, I measured on both sides, so that there, there's there's several different ways to um make sure that your lines are are straight. The one in the library I made differently. I actually cut each individual um, mullion separate, but that took a took a long time. And 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 if you get that close to a window in the miniature, then you're too close. So this one here, I'm just doing it on the from behind like this. Just straight. I'm just holding it for a few seconds while it sets up and move on to the next one. There we go. We're on the last horizontal piece. And I'm also using the super glue wood glue on this little itty bitty detail tip glue bottle. That way I don't get too much glue on the, okay, something's, something's off here. Oh, I put it on the wrong one. That's why. No, hold on. I have to put it on this one here. Okay. This one? Let me double check that before I... Let me glue this down and make sure that I have it right. Thank you, Chase. Hit those thumbs up. Share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, go please subscribe. And... And for some reason today, I've been ha getting tons of spam calls. I do not know why, but I've th I think I've gotten like 15 calls from different um, area codes. I do not answer those because I do not know, know who you are. Okay, we're looking, we're looking. There we go, guys. There's the horizontal mullions. Okay, dokie. Okay, okay. What was I saying? Oh, the mullions on the other ones, I, I glued it, it directly on the plastic. 
But since I don't have plastic to put in front of this, I don't want to mess up the picture. Does that make sense? So we're going to do the the vertical mullions now. And like I said, on the other one, I, I cut each individual one. This one, I'm just going to glue it on, onto the back like this. And that's fine. Well, I don't have a car. My car, you know, I, got, I sold my car that when it broke down. So <laughs> I keep on getting getting um, notices saying that my, my airbag needs to be replaced. I mean, like, it were not before I even sold it, it was replaced. So I, you guys got your, your, um, your whatchamacallit is all mixed up. So it, it, it must, it must be something weird happening. So we got two and three quarters. Let's try seven eighths also. Let's see. No, seven eighths would be too too small for the last one. Yeah. Is it? No, seven eighths will work. I am so happy. These numbers are working. Oh, look at this. The where the hole is here is where the seven eighths is. Isn't that interesting? Now we got that one. Okay. You see this one here? How it's bowed? We can't, we don't, we don't want to use that one. Let me make sure that. See this one's a little bowed too. Let's go grab some more. I'm going to be using regular white paint because my chalk paint became a chunk of mess. I, I've been adding water to it um, the last few times, but this time it would not even shake up. See this one straight and make sure it's on the line is straight. It's not bowed on either side. Okay, let me go another one. Exactly, Chase. I'm mean, like, um, you, you guys know that you already swapped it out. And I took it to the dealer for it to swap out. So it's, it's not like, like they didn't know about this one's a little bold too. See these, these coffee stirs, they're, 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 um, they're, they're all, um, you know, they're worse than the jingle blocks, guys. Okay, that one looks good. And it's not bold. Yay. Let's move this to the side here. And let's measure and cut. Measure and cut. <laughs> well, it's a quarter inch, so that's a, a three by three, um, Chase. <laughs> it's a three by three piece of wood. I'm I'm sure that 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 is not the correct um, size, scale wise, but at this time I'm just using what I have in stock. Again, we're gonna put this guy up here this way. Whoop! That one almost slid off. Grab this guy here. Oh goodness gracious! And don't forget to put the the little nozzle back on because. If you don't, it, it'll dry up like it just did. Oh, no, nope, it did. So I'll get to get it. Get one of these. Um, these little pins to unclog it real quick. I forget to keep on to close it because it's not just a little bit will clog it or dry it up and then it's all clogged so we're gonna put this here again you see how easy that is to, to it's that line or the other line okay line this up so that way i know which line it is 
Oh, it's not that line. It's this line. That's one thing about using something that already has a mark on it. You have to be careful. Thank you, Fabi. Line this up here on the grid. Grid line, grid line. Thanks for coming. You know what, guys? Hold on. We want to add glue onto these guys here, too. So before I put that back down, let's add glue here. So that way it got a better connection. Okay, double check, make sure it's all even, line it up, put it over here, and just hold it down for a second. He wants to know where your chauffeur and bodyguard is, Robin. One of our neighbors had a birthday yesterday and they had a mariachi band playing. We're like, what in the world? It's like, okay. We thought it was down the street and it was actually next door. So that was interesting last night. Yes, this is the back. This is the back of, of the frame. Normally, you wouldn't do what I'm doing because, thank you, Kathy, <laughs> because um, when you put this up against the wall, the parts of the that's going to touch the wall are the mullions. So, but since where it's going is way back there, you're not going to see the side because it'll be sticking up, but it's, it's just a, the thickness of this guy here. So, so if anything, if you want more more um, support, I would put a piece of the mulligan in the corners here. So when it you glue it up to the wall, you'll see it like that. Like I said, it's a big window because there's a big space there. And then once once I paint this white, we'll stick this behind it so this is what you see out the window so let's get let's get to painting let me go get my brush 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 I'm going to put a, a, a little balance on top because I don't want to cover the cover this whole this this part of the, of the picture so since this is just sky I'm going to put the itty, itty bitty balance up there you yep. know that's a, another reason why I use the quarter inch um, dowel here because that way I can put the rod the curtain rod in between and there's room there and then you put a little, little curtain so we'll, we'll do that but let's let's paint it first. Let's grab this. Let's not paint. Uh, I was put, about to put glue on the on the card like I was painting. Duh. I need to get some more some more parchment paper, wax paper. I, I ran out. It, it just 
just hold it here and just paint. I was going to do this beforehand and paint it beforehand, but I wanted you guys to see the, the actual construction of the whole window. Because there's some things that you would like to see a little more detail of, and you're not watching me paint. Nancy, go down. There's not that there's anything. Nightbot is doing its job. Again, if you have a channel, um, drop the word treasures and Nightbot will share your channel and all the other people can go in and share their love with your channel. There's a little extra paint here. We don't want it in the corner here. I'm doing white because the cabinets are white. Nancy likes to get paint on herself, if you guys don't know that. If Nancy doesn't get paint on herself, it's not a, I, I, I was staining the, the rest of the Noah's Ark today, and some of the, the, the antique wax splattered on my pants. Only a little dot, but still, it don't look pretty. Again. Again, again, again. Are you guys playing trick on me and, and told everybody in the United States to give Nancy a call? Is that what you guys did? I think that's what you guys did. I don't want to talk to anybody. If, if your number is not in my, my contact list, if it's important, leave a message. I'll get back to you. But none of these guys are leaving messages, so it may not be important. Again, if it, if, if, if it bothers you right where the, the two pieces of, of wood meet, you can um, put some spackling there to cover, to cover the seam. But again, it's way back here. So like I said, if anybody gets that close, they're too close. Get out of my kitchen. There we go. It's gonna need another another coat because um like I said, this is not chalk paint. Chalk paint with one coat would have would have been suffice enough to cover it. But like I said, my chalk paint became Nancy, you could what? I don't understand what you're writing, Mr. Chase. Thank you, Mr. Aisha. Do, doing these, these uh, this is like my form of therapy. It keeps me sane. I can, I can be here for hours. The, the, the cabinets took me almost all day on Saturday. If I had better wood, I would have been happier with this uh, with the outcome. I love the countertops. It's my first time using UV resin. It was so cool. Yeah, I've I've done that with with the um with the Jenga blocks. Um, Chase put the the, the wood glue in there. I've done that. 
but this is this is like I said, it's way back there. Okay, well, wait for that to dry up a little bit and do a second coat. I think a second coat would be enough. And Nancy has paint all over her. Nothing new, guys. Nothing new. Okay, question. Go back to the kitchen. Um, I'm not going to do the upper cabinets until I get better wood. I think I got some. I got this, these pieces down here. Is it this one? No. These are too thick. Hold on. Let me. No, it is that one. I do have this plywood. It's um eighth inch plywood. That it's it's a much better. You're not gonna see it until you paint it, but it's a much better quality than that basswood. You see how nice and smooth it is. Come on, focus. Uh, there we go. See that's that's the plywood and this is the basswood. See the different grain. So the plywood is, but the thing is with this plywood, I'm cutting by hand. No, I don't have any uh, any um any fruit um what you call it. I'm trying to see what else I have. Mm hmm I have the laminating pouches for my 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 um what are they called? Words are real hard. There's the laminating pouches, but they they're 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 fro they look frosted. I'm looking to see what else if I have anything else. Hold on a second. How about this? This is clear. This is shiny, right? It's not hard, but it's not those guys. <laughs> Come on. Hold on a second. Hold on. Actually, if I take this off, ha <laughs> ha, you go there. This is the, the sheet of plastic that's inside the stickers from Dollar Tree. So I'm just unsticking these guys. And, put, and that way I can get. It's a three by five. It's a big window. So if if you if you if you you know convert it to inches, I mean to feet, it's a three foot by five foot window. <laughs> Almost the size of a door. <laughs> but like I said, this this um the the ceiling height the ceiling height of this is um ten and a quarter. So It'll be 10 feet, 3 inches. So I needed something to fill up that big giant gap back there. We got, we got this piece of gla plastic. Perfect. Thank you for making me think outside the box. Or the, the, the package. So we're going to do the second coat. If you hear anybody laughing, that's my son. My son, he's watching some show or something in his room, making him laugh. Okay, okay. <laughs> there we go on the outside. Oh, I didn't even paint the bottom there. Well, actually, if you put it up against there, you won't even see the bottom. But just in case, we'll do the bottom. Okay. Now we're going to do the mullions inside.
Oops, that's too much paint there. I'm going to show you something else that I ordered from Temu. But um, again, um, they say 1 to 12 scale. But I, I don't know what scale they're using. Um, I'll show you what I, what I got. I'm still keeping it because I, I, I can do it, you know, make it a separate um, little diorama or something. Oh, you, you should see all the stuff I have. I have packet packs and packs of, of scraps of, of scrapbook paper that I'm like, I can use that little piece for something else. It's been in, in my stash for a while, but I can use it for something else. That, that that yeah that that would be a good idea Tracy but I don't I, the 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 glass that I have or picture frames that I have are eight by ten and I used to have a um a glass cutter but I don't anymore so it'll be hard to cut I could get a new one but because I, I I did stained glass a few years ago. But I didn't continue. I, I made, I think, three pieces. My mom has one. I have one. No, I only did, I only did three, two pieces, three pieces. I can't remember now. I did. I'll show you guys the stained glass. Jay, can you give me the stained glass window? Stained glass window. Yeah. Where is it? It's on the on the shelf above the TV. Hang on. It's a piece of glass. Okay, this is um almost done. I'll show you the stained glass window while this guy dries up. Because you want this to dry before you put it onto the plastic in the picture. Because you don't want the, the plaint the plaint the paint the paint the right. paint the paint. The paint to, to, to transfer. Okay. And make sure you paint the size of the mullions too. Because that, that's. Even though it's real, real thin. And as it, not that you, you'll see any. um Because of, of where, where where the window is located. It was above the TV, right? Yeah. It's on the shelf. Is there one of these teacups? No, no, Jay. You see where the sewing machine is? Yes. Go to the right, the top shelf above the TV. There's a piece of glass sticking out with different colors. Okay. That guy is done. There's, there's the window. Like I said, it's big enough to be a door. It's yellow everywhere. <laughs> let me show you. While that dries, let me show you my stained glass that I did a few years ago. It's a little dusty because it, I haven't I haven't hung it. But this is. Well, it's heavy. It's heavy, yeah. So it's too heavy I, to be, be hanged up. That's what I did a few years ago. There's a. It's, like I said, it's it's been going around everywhere. That there's a piece, a couple pieces that have, that cracked. But um, I want to make a frame for it and hang it somewhere, but I haven't yet. Let me go wash my hands real quick. Ah, I'm right here. You can still hear me. I'm still talking to you. Don't go away. I'm just washing my fingers, getting all this paint off. In my kitchen.
You right, right, right. No, um, I made that over over fifteen years ago. I, 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 like I said, I've been crafting since two thousand eight, but um, I've only been on YouTube since two thousand twenty. Yeah, two thousand twenty. Yeah. So um, th there's so much that I've done that no one knows that I've done. Hi, Miss Sandra. So, um, Monkey, can you um, rinse this brush out for me, please? So we're gonna. That's still a little wet. We're gonna move the paint so I don't get paint out everywhere. Thank you. He's my my. my he 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 washes my paint, my brushes. So we're gonna wait this, to this dry, then we're gonna put this on the back and then put the picture on the back of this. So, and I'm gonna be using double-sided tape, but this one is too wide. So let's go up here to my stash. Do we have one that's thinner? Here you go. Uh, that one's a little thinner. You just leave it over there. I'm, I'm done with it right now. Thank you. I'm gonna put this around the edge. Yeah. Yep. We're gonna put this around the edge in the back and put the plastic and then we we'll put the picture. But we're waiting to for this to dry. And and I don't want to use my heat gun because the last time I used my heat gun, it crackled the, the paint and we don't want that. So I appreciate everybody. So let's see if. Oh, I was going to show you the, the other item that I got that's way out of proportion, but I'm still going to use it for, look at this thing. It's a little cake plate, but um, it's supposed to be a 1 to 12, but um, that, that, look at this. But I'm still keeping it, and it, it comes, the, 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 the top comes off. So I'm going to make a little mini um, cake from polymer clay and just put it in there and just do, maybe do a, a little mini diorama with, with some sweets or something. But isn't that cute? I might get a, a, a couple more and, you know, do it like, uh, on a table or something or make something else. And the other item I got was this circle cutter. Uh, th this this sits on this this part sits on your on your on your paper you you, you put, press it down like that and depend on the size of the circle you want okay Larry I'll go over there and 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 approve it and then you you move this to the size that you want right that's it and then press this down and then turn the Look at this. You, you could cut it either way because the, the blade is a V-shape. So you could make a big circle. It's like, oh. I have a Cricut, but by the, by the time that I load the paper into the Cricut, open the design space, make a circle, <laughs> it, 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 I can cut it with this real quick. So um, let's see. We got pending posts. Let's refresh refresh here we go mr larry aldridge what do we have here popular dowel rod and eagle head omg that is so cool and this is this is a turkey Is this the, the the same turkey that John cut on his on his live one time, or is it a different turkey? After the live, you guys can go into the Facebook group and see all the all that thing that that Miss Gina and Mister Larry have shared with us. So this is this is dry. The reason we want to dry because we're gonna flip it over like this, and now we're gonna put some tape.
that's what I'm hoping for. That's what the group is there for, is to inspire others to create. It doesn't have to be anything big. Just something that, that you're like, wait a minute, I can do that. I'm still a little wet somewhere. I'm still a little wet. And that's fine. You don't have to be live to, to, to inspire others. Like I said, I, I've, been, I've been crafting. Well, let's put it this way. My, my grandma taught me how to crochet at 13. So I've been crafting ever since. I'll be 54 in July. So that's what, 40 years of crafting? So when you see stuff that I make, it's, it's, it's not something that I, I just started making. Except for, you know, like quilling and stuff, all the new stuff. But you have to realize, you know, that it's, it's not something that I just started, you know, a couple years ago. And the same thing with supplies. You... I didn't acquire all the supplies in the last couple of years. I've had it for years. So it takes a while to, to, to collect all these cool craft supplies. Yes, I've bought new stuff, but um, a lot of it is also old. Okay, the tape is a little bigger. I don't know if you can see the tape is a little bigger. So all you got to do is just push it in and it'll stick to itself. If, you, if you're doing this where you can see the tape, I would just cut it off. But since it's on the back side of this picture, this frame, I'm just folding it. Okay, Liz. Yeah, my, my, my mom used to, um, if you go to my website, have a little a little bio there. My mom used to sew our clothes when we were in, in elementary school. So we, we've been around a lot of crafting. My, my grandma on my mom's side used to cross stitch. And then my grandma on my dad's side is the one that taught me how to crochet. Okay, this is hard to see, so I'm, I'm going to try to get it as close as possible, and then I'll cut the excess off. There we go. I don't know if I... We'll see. I need to get my... Where is my, 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 my... My finger blade, where is it? Go over here, turn, turn, turn. The other way. There it is. Okay. Okay. Just carefully cut it. You don't want to cut cut the wood off. I'm just doing a couple passes. Now cut the plastic right off. And don't throw this piece away. You might need another window somewhere. You, you need to try again, Chase. I wonder if it's, if it's like, what does it say? It's like riding a bike. <laughs> so I'm just pressing the tape on the, onto the plastic. It's a little, because, because the, the mullions is not flat. Because remember, I, I glued this on top of the ones going across. But and here's the, the window. So we're going to do the same thing, add some more tape to, to, to tape the picture.
Again, I'm just going to put the tape right on the edge. And do the overlap that's on the outside of the frame. Because you don't want it to, to show up show up in the, in the middle of the frame. You can drop your link um, to your, your, your channel page as many times as you want. But not one after the other, you know. You just type in the word treasures. And don't forget, I've added some new items to my website for sale. If you don't see anything that you like and you see something that's similar or you want to know if I can make something, just send a message. There's a there's a contact us page on there where you can fill it out and they'll send me an email and I can get back in contact with you and we can discuss details. I like working with um, custom items. It's, it's, it gives me an, uh, uh, how you call it? Not a sense of accomplishment. That's not, that's not what I'm looking for. It makes my mind work. How's that? Makes how, What's that word I'm talking, thinking about, honey? What's that? When I'm making a, a new item, it's not a sense of accomplishment. It's, it's a sense of making my mind work. What is that? What's that? Oh, gosh. I can't even think right now. Oh, well. You need a review page on your for sale. Oh, okay. I'll I'll get I'll get with um Miss Mr. Harnell Media to to add that Miss Monique. Cool idea. Yes. Okay. We we added the, the tape again over here. And then we're going to. I want to see. I want to get most most of the this side because the, the no actually I cut this the right, the right size. I forgot I cut this the right size. So we're going to try to even this out on here. There we go. And press, 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 press. That's a good word, stimulating. Don't get me wrong, I like I like you know doing the same same project someone wants like 10 of, the, of an item or something that's that's not but sometimes you get you you, you need to, to to um get your mind um she's back hi liz and we're going to, have to figure something out to glue this onto the wall because it wants to bow because of the the framing is not right. But we'll figure that out. Okay. I'll go back here and press, press, press. Okay. I will be you. Well, let, let, let me let me connect it. That's one thing I didn't connect today. I usually have it have it on and, and, and running, but not today. Let, let's get the the glue gun warmed up. So glue that guy on there on the back window. Okay, turn it on. Heating up, and we'll see how this looks. I think I need to trim the, this side up side a bit more. I need some light. I need more light. There we go. See, just a little sliver. <laughs> but Sometimes little things like that, 
it makes a difference when you when you're finishing something up. The details, the the you know that the proof is in the pudding. When you're making a project, is it's in the details. That's why the, those lower cabinets are not very very um I'm not in, in love with them because of, of the detail I need to sand this down a little bit there we go some of the stickiness is on that side and if you don't take it out hi Tracy if you don't take it out Love you. After a while, the dust will start collecting on on, the, on those things, and you you'll definitely see that. So I'm just taking the the excess tape there, there and there. So you guys ready to see the window? Ta da! That's cute. And you see the. The glare. You're eating shrimp. Oh, I love shrimp. So that's while we're waiting for the the gun to heat up. That's gonna go. Oops. I'm gonna have to figure out how to. Oops. Angle it in a way where you guys can see it and where I can get to it. Cause I'm gonna have to do this number. And hold it up and glue it right there. What film? Oh, the lemonade, the, one of the lemonades. And then what I'll do, I'm gonna have some cabinets on both sides. I'm still debating about cabinets on this side. What do you guys think? Should I should I should I do cabinets on the back wall and the front wall? I mean side wall. Because I'm, I'm going to do a, a vent hood over here. One of those slanted vent hood sort of things. Do I have a picture of it? That I think I may have one. Hold on. Of what I was looking for, a vent hood. Let's see. No. Albums. Uh, not screenshots. Downloads. No, no, don't know. Oh well. Let's see. I'll, tell, I'll, I'll show you. Yes, I'm going to make the light fixture. Fixture, Miss. Speaking of it, it's it's right here. Look. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this same exact one, or I'm gonna try it. To, so that's gonna go over the wherever this table is gonna be. So it's gonna hang right here, more or less. Back here, I may I may string some uh, a strip of lights or something so that it it lights up the back of the what's that called kitchen. So we'll see. But I was gonna I'm looking I was looking for a stove stove vent hood. Let's see. Come on, my phone is so slow. Stove. I can't type. To the stove. I just waiting for the, my glue gun to, to heat up, guys. <laughs> then we'll put the window in. Bent hood. Okay. Let's see which one I want to. I want to do. Images. So is anybody working on anything miniature? So I'm, I'm going to try something like not not angled like this one because it has a. A slight curve on there but something like that over the stove and then I have to figure out if I'm gonna paint it red or not so it's gonna let me see if I can see another picture so it's gonna look something similar to that but it's not gonna have curves it's gonna have it's gonna be straight lines so we'll see You don't have to get so tiny, tiny. You, 
can make sure that the, that the sun is facing up before you put the window in. I was like, you really want to, you know, you're going to sit up here because you don't, you're, you're not, you're not behaving. So the glue gun is, is hot. Make sure. Because we, we, we have one shot. I, I want to use a different glue, but because of the mullions that I, that I didn't put flat on the back, it's not. Oh, come on, come on, come on. It's not going to sit flat. So I will have to hold it in place for a long, long time. But we're going to do it with the hot glue so it'll sit up quicker. And just hold it in place right above the window. Make sure it's centered above the, the sink. And there we go. Nice and tight, nice and tight, nice and tight, guys. The window is in. Let's move this guy out of the way. Right. Actually, there we go. Not, not to. Oh, hold on. I'm trying. I'm trying to get add some light without getting too much glare. Well, you you want to see the glare because you want to know. Is it... Tinker Bella, hello. I heard when I do my craft. Crafts in my own world. Hold on. Let me go up. I haven't see what the Hello Wicked Granny. Have you been here for a while or you just you just came in? I'm sorry, I was I was working on the window. I'm paying attention to the window. See who else came in while I was busy. Uh, Tinkerbell and Wicked Granny. So, you guys, welcome. Thank you for coming. If you have a channel and you want to share with your friends on the chat, type in the word treasures and Nightbot will drop your channel. It's actually working today. <laughs> let, me, let me get closer and closer. And closer. There you go. There's the window. So, what I'm going to do, see, that wasn't glued on there yet. Because I'm not sure where I want to add these little trays. So what I want to do is let's move this guy over. Pretend this is an upper cabinet, okay? We're going to slide this guy out. Like I said, the only thing that's glued down is just as a as a refrigerator. So this is the lower cabinet, right? But I was thinking of doing upper cabinets like that. Of course, they're not going to be as deep. They're going to be, you know, made like, 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 you know, the, the upper cabinets are like half the size or something, 12 inches. So that's going to go like that. And then have one on this side as well, like that. So I'm not sure if I want to add more to this side as well as the back. Only six thumbs up. Come on, guys. Thank you, Carmen. If someone wants to start scroll sawing and can't afford a big saw. I've seen those little jeweler, jeweler saws. Maybe I... You know what? Thank you, Larry. Thank you. I need to get something like that so I can do the up cabinets to do the the openings for these guys with the plywood. Thank you. I think a trip to Harbor Freight tomorrow is in store for me because they have all kinds of stuff over there. I haven't made the upper cabinets yet. Do you guys want to see me make the upper cabinets um, if I get the little jeweler saw to cut? Let me know if you want me to, you want to see that. Because I'm I'm going to remake these. But I love those countertops. They're so cool. They look like the, 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 one of those real 50s um, countertops. Oh, come on. I wish it, it would focus. Come on. Uh, 
I'm trying to trick it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, what is it focusing on? If it's not focusing on, on this, there we go. There we go. There's the countertop. And look, look at that pretty shininess. And then you got the aluminum that is, that's for the chrome on the front. It looks like one of those 50s um, tables, right? Isn't that cool? It was just a, a trial and error um, kind of thing. And it actually worked. But um, I'm sure I can pop this off. Now it's, now it's seriously computer camera. Now you're going to focus on my hand forever and ever and ever. One second, guys. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Okay. Focus on my face now. Oh, God. Come on. It doesn't want to focus on my face now. I confused it. I confused my camera. See, it's focusing on my hand. But it doesn't want to focus. What can I use to, for it to focus on me again? Focus on this. Focus. See, now it, now it stays focused on this, but it's not focused. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> like I was saying, the countertops I'm going to keep, but I'm going to redo the lowers. So this is basswood, so I can easily, even though I use um, wood glue, I can pop this right off and sand it down, whatever. But the, the tops came out pretty cool. So I'll, I'll do that. So what do you guys think of, of the backsplash? Using using that, um, those little, oh, again, you know, this is, this is going to be all white because of the cabinets up here. So you're only going to see a little bit of the green above the backsplash. Yes, it does have a mind of its own. Mis so that, that's, let's put this. Again, this is going to be like a, like a little chalkboard. It's going to go right here. Uh, let me see if I can pick it up so you can see the little utensils, the mini utensils above the stove. Can you see the little mini utensils above the stove? There we go, this way. So that's um, just taped up there now. But I'm, I'm, it has a little holes to put screws, so I'm going to do that. This is glued down, but it, it's glued down with hot glue. Just a little bit, enough to keep it up there. But if I want to pop it off, I can. Uh, Chris, you know what? This is better than my real kitchen, too. This is my dream kitchen right here. So since I can't have it in real life right now, I'm I'm manifesting it in little little form. So when I do get my, my house and get my real kitchen and, and, you know, like a library and my bedroom, all these little rooms are going to be replicated. To, to real size but the, st the refrigerator does open up and the refrigerator is glued down because I needed that to stay in place while I, I did the cabinets so the table is going to go about here right here right so the chandelier is going to come down right above it and you got the t four little stools Like that, yet, like that, and like that. You got the little tray with the little picture, and that, that can go in there. Like I said, this is gonna go on this wall. We got, you know, the the mini bottles that I'm gonna put around around here. And um, where did I put them? I have to find it. I was cleaning up because I was working on something else. But I printed out all the food for you. Well, you can see the bed, the, the kitchen more than my face. <laughs> I printed out labels for cans and labels for um, cereal boxes and cookies and, and all that stuff. So that's printed out already. I just have to cut it out. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see me make all that food. 
all the little um miniature cans and boxes let me know or if i can you just want me just put it in the kitchen but um that do, do i have anything else that goes in the kitchen no that's it for now oh my, my little lemonades fell the little, the little the little lemonade but i, I think uh, looking at the, the this guy here i think the little the lemonades are a little bit too small so they, they may just go somewhere on the shelf when i do the cat the, the upper cabinets or something you know what they might fit in the fridge who knows so we got we got three trays that depending on what I do with everything else, they might, they might go on the wall or they might not. So you want to see the upper cabinets and you want to see the, the 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 food making, okay? And then, um, oh, I was supposed to make, um, what time is it? 7.30, okay. Then I was supposed to do a little valance for the for the curtain, but I didn't pull, pull out any fabric for that yet. So I'm going to, um, hold on a second. Do we want to use this? Do we have enough of this? Should I do polka dots or or plaid for the valance? You guys tell me, polka dots or plaid? We got we got that right. We got polka dots and we got plaid. I'll wait for a couple seconds because of the lag. I'm just doing a little valance above the window. Polka dots or plaid? All right, to choose, we got one plaid, one polka dot. Okay, who's gonna break the tie? Oh, please do, um, Mr. Larry. Cause that, 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 that that that's gonna be a game changer. Even though I don't have my scroll saw, I can use that little. Oh, we got two plaids. Okay, Mr. La Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Plaid. Okay, we got plaid. Plaid it is. I would normally just um sew this, but I, I to tell you the truth, I'm not bringing that sewing machine way over here again. Not at this time. We're just cutting a piece off. You think the polka dots will tie better? Let's see. Let's cut a piece off. I just had scissors. Here we go. So this is gonna go, let's say up there. Let's pretend you can see the there. We, wait, this way. There, there's there's a window. Actually, let's try get it smaller so you guys can see it. Okay, there we go. The polka dots or the plaid. I'm gonna hold them back over here. So we got that's where that's where it's going right there. It's, it's covering up. It's gonna cover up the, the first paint paint up here. We got plaid, 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 plaid. I I think we're going for plaid. <laughs> Wicked Granny is, is is well. We got two two polka dots, but we have it. One, two, three, four, five, six plaids. I don't have plain white fabric. <laughs> I have tons of colors, but I don't have plain white fabric. Hmm. You, oh, guys, you guys are, are making me confused. Let me go get. 
I got a curtain rod. <laughs> Let me cut the curtain rod down so I know what size we're, we're, we're dealing with. Actually, I got to pop it because it's too long to get in there to measure. There we go. I need new glasses. Because the up close is not working very well anymore. Go like this. Okay. And then make sure it fits. Because I want it to fit and snug in there. Okay. We're good to go there. And then we're going to we're going to hem it, guys. I I did have I used to have um, hem tape, but um, I don't know where it went. So we're just gonna do. It. This is not something Nancy would do normally. Nancy would pull out her sewing machine. <laughs> but Nancy's desk is full of stuff, and I would have to move everything in order for the sewing machine to, to come back over here. Because the sewing machine is um, in the living room. Okay, Larry, I'll, I'll check a look at it after the live. Thank you. Now I have to convince my husband to take me to Harbor Freight tomorrow. Uh, I have fabric with with red, but it's it's all kinds of weird um, colors and stuff. It's it, I don't have anything plain. You know what I do since since this fits in here nice and snug, I won't glue it in. Okay, so if anything, I can make several of these and take pictures later, and you guys can can vote. I'll do it on on uh. A whatchamacallit, what's that called? A pole, and, and then we'll do that. I'll check I'll check my stash and see if I have anything that has any type of red in it. How's that sound? Oh, sorry. I, I was putting hot glue on the fabric. I was hemming it. So we're just hemming the edges. Like I said, I would normally just sew this, but we're just doing it this way for now. Okay? Okay. Hey, by being here, Larry, you're helping me. Strip, strip the label off a Coke bottle and make that a valance? Hmm. That sounds interesting. But you know what? I'm not drinking soda, so I'm, I'm going to have to buy a Coke just, just to use the label. My husband's going to have to um, drink some Coke. <laughs> so we're going to... Put glue here. That sounds interesting. A Coke. I don't have to strip the label off a of Coke, but well, because I, I could print one off the computer, but it won't be fabric y looking. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're going to. I should. Here, we're going to use this guy here to make the pocket for the curtain. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not looking to make it a big one. Just enough to put it on the top. So we're going to glue that there. Make a pocket, pocket, pocket. Local Florida woman arrested for dumpster diving. <laughs> Scaring her neighbors. 
News at 11. Yeah, they're plastic. What I can do, I think I have some. I have, I, I have to look at my stash. I, I, like I said, I've been collecting stuff for years. So um, I may have some printable fabric in my stash. So I, I'll have to look at that. You can tape the material to paper and run it through print. Well, I need, I need to get some um, some uh, a solid color. Um, what you call it? So now we're going to do this. I'm gonna pull this one out because we don't. Oops. I think I, I glued it. Oh gosh. No. Oh gosh. I wasn't supposed to glue it. There. There we go. It's coming loose. There we go. It was only one spot. So I'll take this guy, whoops, put it in here, right? See what I'm doing? Okay. Right there. And we're going to, what well, do we, do we want to ruffle it? Well, let's, let's ruffle it. We got, we'll make it a balance. We're going to ruffle it. So this one here, I am going to, I won't glue it to the frame, but I am going to glue it to the end of this because it's, it's, it's the, the stick is sliding into the fabric. <laughs> so let's take that stick back out. Okay. We're going to put a little bit of glue there so the stick doesn't go flat, hide into the fabric. And then we're going to ruffle it on the end. I mean, on the stick. We're going to put that there. Hold it a few minutes. Thank you, Wicked Granny. I'm fascinating to watch. Oh, thank you. Yes, I've I've been on, on some 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 lives with the crochet community, and I've been making some friends over there. So it's been fun. Look at that. Adorable. So we're gonna see how much I have to, cause I have to. Okay, we're gonna cut it right, right there. Cause we need to sew the sew the side over here. Cause we got seam it shut. Yeah. Oh yes, of course, Larry. Of course. Actually, we don't have to do that because um, it's on the inside of the, of the... So what I'll do is just to add a little bit of glue here so that it doesn't unravel. Right? On the edge there. And then we'll push it all the way down and put some glue and we'll hang it up. Like I said, I'll, 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 I'll do several options and you guys can pick. And who knows? I, I'll probably use all of them because I'm not going to glue them in. Right? So depending on the mood, I can change the curtain. But we're going to close. Pinch that close there. Do, do, do. I like that side better. That side versus that. So it depends where you get to cut the fabric. You get that, that pattern. You get that pattern. I like this pattern. So we're going to. It's, I need to glue at the bottom because it's not. It's not staying. There we go. And just just even the the ruffles out, right? We have a little curtain. Now I'm going to go up so you guys can see, and I'm going to try. Okay, Gina, I'm, I'm about going to be on for another 10 minutes or so while I, I, I do some talking. I'm going to, this edge over here is not getting, not looking straight. There we go. There we go. And 
slide it inside the window here. There we go. Can you see it? Can you see it? This camera? There we go. Should I make it longer? I don't know. What do you think? What do you guys think? Should I make it tall? I mean, not the longer, but taller. Because right now it's covering the first panel on top. Or should I? It looks okay. Let me know. I don't know. It looks okay, I think. It's fine. Okay. Let me, let me, I wish I could move my camera so you guys can see. I do have a, a mount that's coming soon that I should be able to move the camera wherever I want. There we go. Like that. Well, I didn't want to cover too much of the window. My my plan was always to have a balance, not not a, not because I could have done the curtains with the little tie back and everything. So okay, next week, if I get the 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 what's my, the little saw that Larry's talking about, I'll do I'll re redo the bottom cabinets and make the top ones. I could crochet. I, I need some. I don't. I don't. I may have to. I think I, I'm. I'm. I'm thinking out loud. I may have some embroidery thread, but I'm. That small. I'm. I have trouble um getting the tension right. But we could. We could. We can look in, Look into that. I'm gonna do this so you can see me. And we're going to do. No, that. I was gonna do something, but I might scare myself and, and, and slide, slide this up a little bit. Go like this. Oh, this thing is getting heavy. There we go. That came out of nowhere. So next week we. Why am I crooked? Okay. Chris, lace curtains, come on. I'm I, I, like I said. I'll, I'll put some different ones up, and we'll we'll, we'll go from there. But it, it, for some reason, it looks small. I might I may do another one, and make it a little bit longer. I know you say that's fine, but in person, it looks small. So next week, I'll either be doing the upper cabinets if I have that little saw, or we're gonna do some food, or we would do the. So we got three three options depending on the the supplies I get. Lace, I have lace. Where did I put my lace? I have lace. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do, what does it measure in scale? Hold on, the, my ruler's too big to go in there. Let me get, get my little, my little, my little guide here. This little guy. Let's see. It measures. I can't see. About oh, nine inches tall. It's three quarters of an inch, but so it would be like nine inches tall. Actually, can we go this way? That way? Oh, there we go. That's a good view with the light. So the, the window is five 
five feet tall. So not, that one is nine inches. <laughs> so <laughs> well, I'm a Florida girl, so you ne you never know what these Florida people do. We're always in the news. Hi, Jason. Welcome. So you never know what these Florida people will do. Plus, I'm going to experiment with these little bottles because I'm not sure if this is solid up, up here on top of there. I was thinking of drilling a little hole there and putting a little screw eye to make some earrings. So I might be working on that this week. You guys will see it. The saw takes penless blades. Miss Nancy, I don't know if I added that. Okay. I'll, I'll look at it and then we'll, we'll like I said, my, I'll have my husband take me to the store tomorrow. Because I'm sorry. That those cabinets look away nice from where you are now. But when you get closer, it's like, it makes me cringe. It's it's not it's not my type of um work. But th did you guys see the the back backsplash? Did you like it? I I don't remember if you guys commented on that. I am, but they are a little big. What are you, what are you saying, Miss Kathy? Did I miss miss the, the first part? I'm going up. I don't see. But like I said, nothing is glued down yet except for the fridge. So if you, if you guys see anything that, that you think might look better, yay, backsplash. Because like I said, it, it, it's only on a piece of cardstock. So that, that's what it looks like close up. Because I was thinking of doing um, subway tile. But that's a lot of work. And Nancy's getting tired. That 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 Noah's Ark took it out of me. I don't know what I was thinking, making something that big. So for Wednesday, we're gonna work with some bunny butts. Some bunny butts and some carrots. Who knows? What I, I put all the stuff in here. I'm not not sure if I'm gonna use it all, but we have it here. And for Friday, I won't let you, we're doing buttons, right? But this is all I'm going to show you. We're going to do, I'm going to use this on my Friday on project. So you have to come back on Friday. You guys want to join me? Let me know. I'll send you the link. Or you can craft at home and, and post it in the, in the group afterwards. I already have the post on, on the the group page so once you finish your project you can just post it under that post awesome guys and um i'll be working finishing bob ross this week so he can go to his, his new home and then i have four other pops after that new items on my website check that out little treasures by nancy.com sponsored by harnell media Put some pants on that bunny. This is a. <laughs> I'm sorry. You too, Miss Liz. Thanks, you guys, for what I'm watching. So, um, don't forget to look this week to to uh, check um the community tab for the different curtains. I am gonna make that a little bit longer because it, it looks it looks puny up there. So I'll have three or four options up there. And um, depending on the, 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 the tools I get, it'll be either upper cabinets, the vent hood, or food next week. So keep an eye on for that too. And um, I think that's it. Don't forget to comment after the video. Excuse me. Okay, I guess I'm just crooked. <laughs> so, um, like the Nightbot just said, there, be brave, be strong, and create. 
a nice, how do you call it? Not landscape. Of, n create a nice view for your kitchen. So see you guys Wednesday at 6 p.m. Right here on Little Treasures by Nancy. So see you then.